So, moving along. This next balloon is going to be the favorite, I think, for a lot of you out there. Um, I call him a scrap dog. And the reason that I think so many of you are really going to like him is because basically he's a one balloon animal, but he takes one balloon and a scrap. I know a lot of you are really, you know, frugal with your balloons and you like to use your scraps as much as possible. Um, and his impact is so far beyond a one balloon dog that uh, it's, it's just incredible. Now, I, I have a little confession to make. Even though I call him Scrap Dog, it's... It's pretty rare that I actually use a scrap. Uh, most of the time, I pull out a brand new balloon. But you could use a scrap. And in fact, my husband does. My husband's one who does save his scrap, Shahar. So, what you need for it is a balloon. It doesn't really matter how much you inflate it. Just leave enough on the end that the air can move down a little bit because we do have a few twists. This one I inflated... Oh, about the size of... About almost a hand. A child's hand, maybe. Um... Anyhow, so, what we're going to do is we're going to make the nose, and the nose is about three and a half fingers, and then the same like we did on the sword, I basically take from the bottom of my palm up to the top of my pinky, of my thumb to measure, and then I clip a little bubble, okay, so we're doing a four bubble series here, and then we're coming back on it again. So there we go, there's the dog's head. Basically, it's very much like your standard poodle, just with the proportions a little bit differently. Um, I like to make my necks little. I know some people really like long necks. It's, it's really up to you. I, I mean, everybody has their own style. That's what makes it so wonderful. And then, however you want to do your dog legs, I usually, I usually spend more time on the face and less time on the body. So I make a pretty simple set of dog legs. Kind of like a nice small little body. Um, wishful thinking on my part, I guess. <laughs> and then match those legs. Now, I really don't want this much tail. I could turn it into a poodle tail, but I actually think that on this balloon, I prefer it not poodled. Um, so, I'm just going to snap the end off there and tie it off. There we go. Um... And I'm also going to roll that tail through those back legs just to keep it nice and safe and locked up. Okay, so you definitely could give this dog just like this to a child, and they would be perfectly happy with it. But I wouldn't. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch twist this bubble right here, like so, and now I'm going to take my scrap. Um, like I said, I, I actually blew up a whole balloon for this one. Sometimes you have bigger scraps, sometimes you have smaller scraps. You can use whichever one you want. If you've got a nice big scrap, then you get nice, big, long, floppy ears. Which you then just attach to the pinch twist like so. Now, you could leave your ears like this. I don't really like them like that, so I usually give them an S bend. Just curl them up like an S, give them a couple little squeezes. And do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, that has added so much value to that same one balloon dog. I'm going to show you in just a moment what it would look like if, uh, if we used a smaller scrap instead. Okay, I'm just going to draw some little eyes on him. And I'm really not all that great with a pen. Uh, so I try to draw as little as possible on my balloons. But we'll just do some real quick eyes. And I always ask the kids, is it a boy dog or a girl dog or whatever animal? And then the parents kind of look at me funny and say, well, you know the difference. In balloon animals, girls have eyelashes. And that always gets a big laugh. Okay. So here we go. This is with the long flop ears, which are my personal favorite. Let's just take the ears off for a moment. And we're going to put some short little ears on. As you can see, this is a salvage scrap. It's not all that big. I'm just going to twist it right in half. And I'm going to give this dog, who's fine, some cute and short little ears. You see? So pretty much no matter what side of your scrap, that simple addition to your one balloon dog can make the difference from, oh, it's a dog, too. 
Oh, it's a dog. And there you have it.